All right, guys, so I'm going to do a real quick demo of IM injections. This is not a professional video. It's me by myself, so don't judge. Um, I'm going to demonstrate Recephin, which is an antibiotic. It is reconstitution. I'll do the full demo for that one, and then I'll show you how to um, use an ampule and also how to use a pre-filled syringe. Um, do separate segments for that. So I have my orders, my instructor's giving me my own orders, and she has my check sheet, my peer verification sheet. So first thing I'm gonna do is wash my hands. order to my MAR. Okay? This is not a check. I'm just verifying physician order to MAR. So I have Recephin 250 milligrams IM every 12 hours times two doses for I'm a hurt 88109530 for Dr. Brown date of birth 1234 no known allergies. Look back here Recephin 250 all the information matches. So verified my physician order to my MAR. Get rid of my physician order now I'm just using my MAR for the procedure. I also have my lab sheet. So for Rosepha and the antibiotic, I'm gonna be looking at the CBC. Definitely wanna know what my WBCs are and other blood counts. Um, wanna look at renal function. And with that, when I talk to the patient, I'll be monitoring INO, and I also wanna know what their GI status is. Because if they're having a lot of diarrhea, then uh, we may wanna hold this medication or start some probiotics or something. All right, so. First check, pulling my mat out, Rosephin, 250 IM to 12 hours times two doses. It is 9 a.m. in the morning. And so I'm going to pull that medication. I have it here. It is the powder. So I have one gram Rosephin, expires 32020, and I will be adding sterile water to this. So this is my first check. Got that. Grab my sterile water. That was my first check. Now I'm going to get everything, all of the supplies I need for this. So reading my label, I know I'm going to be diluting with 2.1 mils, and then after that, one mil each equals 350. So I know I can use a three mil syringe for the entire procedure. And my three mil syringe. Um, my patient, I met her this morning when I did my assessment. She's a small patient, so I'm only gonna use a one inch needle um, for the IM injection, and I'll use a 23 gauge. I'm going to grab two of those, one to mix all of my meds and then the other one for the injection. I'm going to do my second check now, Rosephin 250 IM to 12 hours. I have one gram Rosephin, which I'll be reconstituting, and I need to do a calculation um, for this medication because one mil equals 350. There, so now I'm going to prep my med. Open my syringe. For my instructions, I need 2.1 mils of sterile water. So I'm going to get my 2.1 mils of air. There's my cap. And inject my air into the air, not the water. Flip it over. Now these Practi meds um, don't mix very well. In real life, it makes this a lot easier. Um, 
so I wouldn't worry about it and check off if you do see a little bit of sediment. Just get the idea of what you're doing. All right, so one, I don't have a calculator. Pull up 0 0.8 for 250 milligrams of rosepin. So 0.8 of air. Okay. Now the antibiotic's nice because it's so easy to see. It's yellow. All right, so I pulled up to 0.9. I'm not sure if the instructors told y'all this, it's just something I do, um, because now I'm gonna switch my needle to my injection needle. So I'm gonna discard this in sharps, and I'm gonna put my injection needle on, and I'm gonna go up to my dose of 0.8. And that is so that I don't have air in my needle, I have medication in the needle and I have the correct dose in my syringe. So verify that with my instructor. I'm gonna check it down here. Get everything I need, my vial, my medication, my alcohol pad. I'm gonna go into the room. All right. All right, this hurts. Wash my hands again. And Brandy, I'm back. We met earlier. I have your antibiotic. It's due at 9 o'clock and it's 9.05. So, first thing I want to do for safety is just check your name and date of birth. Just tell me that. I haven't heard, I haven't heard one, two, three, four. All right. And then with my MAR, I'm comparing the medical record number 8810930. Correct. And then your um, ID band here says you have no known allergies. Is that correct? No allergy to penicillin or anything. Okay, good. Well, what I have for you is your antibiotic. Um, this is just for the infection in your foot. Uh, we want to try to make that better. Can you tell me, have you had um, any stomach upset, diarrhea, anything like that? No? Okay. And then you've been drinking plenty of fluids. Do you feel like you're urinating enough? Nothing um, there? Okay, good. Well, this is an intramuscular injection, and it's going to go into your buttocks here, the top part of your bottom. Um, is that all right with you? Okay. I'm going to have you turn to your side. Thank you. And we'll get started. So I verified my five rights. I have my correct patient, med, dose, time, and route. I'm going to do my third check here at the bedside. Rosephin, 250 milligrams, 0.8. Rosephin, it's ours, 320, 20. Got everything there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the site for my instructor. So this is my preferred, uh, my preceptor. I did this site when I was in nursing, uh, started at Baylor. So then I prefer palm of hand. Um, thumb towards groin, point to the sky, and middle finger move back. And then, right there. All right, instructors, that's correct. Good. All right, got my correct side. Grab some gloves for the injection. Do Z track for this. So my alcohol prep's ready. My medication's ready. So I'm going to slide over, clean my site because I don't want to touch the site after I cleaned it. Inject, hold, aspirate. And then this medication, I'm going to take
her time with it. Talk to her patient. Did your daughter come in to see you yet? I don't know. What about the doctor? Has he been by? All of that great, wonderful small talk. All right. Out. All right, Miss Hurt. I finished with that injection. How are you doing? Good. You let me know if you're having any pain here, if you feel like a knot develops. Um, we have one more dose of antibiotic to give you tonight, so they really should do it on the other hip, one on the same side there. Um, it's going to be less painful if you move around, get up and walk in the halls, because the more you can use that muscle, it'll kind of break that medication up, and it's not going to be as painful. Um, so I will be back to check on you. All right, so I'm gonna do the ampule real quick. Um, pretty easy. I don't think y'all should have trouble with this at all. Just don't be scared of it. So my order, she's having nausea, so I'm gonna be giving the Finagrin 25 milligrams IM every six hours for nausea. Verify order to MAR, and then we do our three checks with our MAR, and we compare the armband with the MAR, not the doctor's order. So Finagrin down here, everything's correct. So, Finagrin is in my ampule, and it is, turn y'all this way a little bit, uh, 25 milligrams per mil. I need 25 milligrams, so I need exactly a mil. Everybody gets this out different. It really doesn't matter. All right, so for this one, I need my filter needle, because I'm using glass. So filter needle is green, and it actually says filter on it. I'm only doing one mil. So I can use my three mil syringe for an accurate dose. I'm going to be nervous. I'm shaking. Don't like shaking for this. Uh, I'll call. And then again, my patient. Let's say we have a bigger patient. My patient's a little larger. He's got lots of muscle. Um, he works out, so I'm going to use the one and a half inch 22 gauge needle for this injection. So, with your ampule, just wrap your alcohol prep around it and break away from you. That simple. And then this goes in the sharps container. Um, everyone does this their own way. Again, they may have demoed it in class different than I did. You can go into the ampule directly and kind of watch it come up here. I've always been this tight. And you don't want to your needle to rub against the edge of the ampule. So you want to go kind of directly in the middle. Turn this around so you can read your dose. So, I always draw up extra. Get my hair out. And I'm going to draw a little bit extra so that I can fill my needle, my injection needle. So I'm going to go up to 1.1 mils. Okay, I'm at 
done with this needle, put it in sharps. Now my injection needle, put it on. I'm going to go up to my one mil. All right, show my instructor. One mil, 25 milligrams, can go get my injection. Easy peasy. Make sure you're using the filter needle. That is key for your ampule. All right, the other one, pre-filled syringe. These are also pretty easy. Um, it's intimidating because you have to think about it. But once you've worked with it, it's not too bad. So my order, five milligrams, morphine, IM, Q4 hours pain, my patient's having pain. And then it compares to my MAR morphine 5 milligrams IMQ4 hours. My what I have on hand is I have two milliliters. Morphine expires 9 20 20, 10 milligrams per ml. So I only need half an ml and I have two ml. So I'm going to be wasting 1.5 mls or 15 milligrams. Gotta get my narcotic book here. And I need to find what I'm giving. So I'm giving the morphine 10 milligrams per mil way down here. So I'm going to write the patient's name. I'm a hurt, the room 101. Uh, physician is Dr. Brown. Uh, time is 1020. I'm giving point, um, no, five milligrams uh, administered by me. I'm wasting 15 milligrams and my signature of my instructor that's witnessing my waste. There are 11 in here left after I took mine out. So filled out my narcotic sheet. Okay, so again, this pre-filled syringe, it's just like a vial, so the little rubber end has not been punctured yet. You'll see in here there's a little needle. So what you need to do is press down on the white and you'll hear it puncture the um, top of that. This is not a needle in here. So what you'll do, your carp eject, open it all up. Pull this all the way out and your blue part out. Put your pre-filled syringe. The white part lays nicely in this little groove here. Turn the blue and then get your white plunger down on the little screw there and screw it on this off. So I'm wasting 1.5 milliliters or 15 milligrams. So I could do this into the sink just like I would with a syringe right here. Waste, push, wasting it. My instructor who signed for me is watching me do that. Then I could put a new needle on, my injection needle, and go give this just like any other syringe. Okay. Most nurses in the hospital aren't going to do that because they don't have carp ejects. You have them in your kit, so you have one if you like this method and want to use it, but they are not available at most hospitals. So most of your nurses, myself included, are going to pop that white thing off and use this just like a vial. So I'm giving half an ml or five milligrams. My three mil syringe, my needle size for whatever my patient was based on assessment earlier, 22 to 23 gauge, one to one and a half inch. So for this, um, it's usually easier if you don't inject air first. So I'm gonna clean it off with my alcohol. just like I would a vial and with my needle to the middle of the rubber and just pull up what you need and you kind of have to there's a vacuum on here so you kind of have to play with it 